All right, Algebra 2 class, we're back. We're back with solving systems of inequalities by graphing. All right, so I'm going to show you what this example says. You take your system of uh, your two inequalities, you solve them for, uh, uh, for y, you put them in slope-intercept form, and then you graph them. This first one here, y equals, uh, sorry, less than or equal to uh, 2x minus 1 has a y-intercept of negative 1, right? And it has a slope of 2. It's a solid line because it includes that equal sign there, right? So they need to show a solid line here, this all the way up. It says it's less than or equal to, so everything underneath it needs to be shaded. All right? There you've, you've graphed and you've shown the solutions. Now you take your other one y is greater than one-third x plus two. That's this one here. You can tell because it's got a dotted line. There's no equal sign here. So when you graph it, you graph with a dotted line. Actually, you just draw the straight line and then you take your eraser and erase pieces out of it. But don't let me, you know, teach you anything new. Here it is. Has a slope of one-third. Nice shallow positive slope. And it crosses through this y-intercept of 2. Very simple idea. The only thing this book didn't do was shade this whole thing above the region because they didn't want to mess you up when you were looking at this double shaded region here. This, this in here, these are all solutions to both inequalities. And that's what you're looking for when you're shading those inequalities. I'm going to take you down here and we're going to do one together. Actually, I'll do it. You'll watch. Unless you have this paper out in front of you. Then I'll call you a nerd. Here we go. Um, let's do a difficult one. Let's do number two. You're going to love it. Oh, look at that. Let's do number three. The absolute value, sir, that's messed up. Here we go. The absolute value of y is greater than, uh, less than or equal to 1. And so we're only showing, we're talking about this, right? And we're showing less than 1, but we can only show it to you in the positive region, right? So this, da, 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 da. we have one here, this would be your y equals 1, right? Our problem is we can't have anything come out negative. So no matter what, everything is going to be in between here and here. So I'm going to shade this in purple. This is my one solution. That was pretty easy to graph. The other one is x is greater than 2 doesn't include the equal sign, so I'm going to make sure I create a dotted line. X equals two, uh, X is greater than 2. It's going to be this straight line vertical along 2, but I have to make it a dotted line, so let me kick some of this out. And I'm going to shade everything greater than that. So the only solutions that fit for these two inequalities are all of these in this bounded region all the way up through infinity. That's pretty cool, right? Last one, I'm going to do this one right here, actually solving for y. Uh, here we're going to solve for y. We're going to subtract 3x. We're going to divide by negative 2. So y is greater than, don't forget to flip that inequality symbol when you divide by negative 2, uh, is greater than or equal to 3 halves x. And that would have been minus, and then another minus is a plus 1 half. Okay, there's one of them. This next one. 
I subtract x over here. All right. Divide everything by 4. y is greater than or equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 3. Okay. I'm going to do them each in a different color, and we're going to be on our way. Uh, I guess we'll do this first one in purple. Both of these include the equal sign. I have a straight edge so I can draw a straight line. I have a y-intercept at one-half. Right? Has a slope up three and over two. Uh, one, two, three, over two. Right about there. I'll go down three, one, two, three, and back two, there we go. All right, I'm gonna connect the dots. If I can. There we go, put arrows on it, and shape everything above it. Exciting, isn't it? All right, let's look at the other one. This has a slope of negative one-fourth and crosses at this wonderful negative three. I'm going to do this one in a different color as well. I'm going to do this one in what other, whatever color comes out of my pocket. So this says I go down one and over four. Up one and over four. There it is. It includes the, the line itself, so it's a nice solid line. I don't have to erase pieces of it. Connect the dots. Now I have a straight line. This one, too, is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to shade everything above it in red. And I stayed away from this line because I didn't want to erase it with my new one. This is my bounded region. These are all solutions, and anything above and to the left. That's it. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Google Classroom. That's how you do it. Your homework, of course, practice 3.1, numbers 4 through 15, and practice 3.2, numbers 1 through 9.